trick you. He is nothing but the king of deception. He is nothing but a liar, the Bible says. There's no truth there. There's no truth there. Abraham mockers him. And the Bible said in the last days that there will be mockers of God. Mockers of God in the last days, and we have a mocker right here. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sin. Welcome to Trumpet of Truth Ministries, Brother Jimmy Miller. I haven't been out here in returns, a year. Returns to the streets of New Orleans with his new cross, right in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. Well, actually it's the old cross, but I painted it in, in 2020. Amen. Praise the Lord. Took a lot, lot to get get him out here, and actually, it's a little bit more, uh, a lot more crowded than we thought it would be. I mean, even though it's nothing like it used to be, as you can hear that the music in the background. So, uh, praise the Lord. Amen. Right here on uh, St. Peter's and Bourbon, St. Peter and Bourbon, August the fifteenth, two thousand twenty. And I want to say to everybody who prayed for me and my dog, I sure appreciate it. Yes, it was a very rough day for me. And I thank you for your prayers and your support and your cards and letters. That means so much to me. Thank you so much. And I'm praying for everybody who lost their dog or that cat who wrote to me. Y'all in my prayers every day and night. Trust me. Stop! 
drinking. I was an alcoholic, a dope fiend. I was an adulterer. I was a personal bodyguard in 1978 for the Rolling Stones. Van Halen and the Doobie Brothers. And I thought I was on top of the world. But if I'd have died, I'd have went to hell. Would it be worth it? No. Not at all. Hell no. If God would leave everybody out of hell right now, you think you got right in streets now? They would have people on the streets. Why? 
When was the cross of rejection? When was the cross of repentance? And the other was the cross of redemption. And the man on the cross of rejection rejected the man on the cross of redemption. That day he went to hell. And he's there today, right now, crying. Only to be left out on judgment day. To be cast into the lake of fire, second death. But then the man on the cross of repentance, he accepted the man on the cross of redemption. And he went to paradise with Christ that day. And to this day, he's in paradise. What cross are you hanging on today? What cross are you hanging on today? Are you hanging on the cross of rejection? Or you come to the cross of repentance? God so loved the world that he became man in the flesh. Called himself Jesus. He came in the flesh so man could see him because God is a spirit, you can't see him. He came in the flesh so he could bleed and die and have a blood atonement for your sake for my style. Oh, but the cross, the cross, they took Jesus Christ. They arrested him on false charges. And he stood next to a murderer. And they said, let the crowd decide who will you choose to put to death. Crucify him! Crucify him! And they hollered at Jesus. And they took Jesus, stripped him of his robe, and they put a crown of thorns on him. And the crown over there, the thorns over there in the Middle East, ain't like the little wimpy thorns over here. The thorns in the Middle East are long, hard, and pointy. They put that crown on the Lord Jesus' head, and they hit him with a ring. They pushed those thorns in his head so he could bleed. Then they beat him. They whipped him. 39 stripes. 39 stripes. With the whip. With stripes or strips of leather. And on the edge of each leather was a piece of slate. And every time they whipped Christ, they had a straight way when they whipped him. And that slate would dig in the back of my Lord and Savior. When they did that, they drew it back the same way. And those pieces of slate ripped out the back of my Lord. He was beaten. He was ripped open so bad you could see his lungs pulsating. He did it for you. He did it for you. He did it for me. Who didn't know would do that for you? Then they gave him a cross. Oh, they didn't give him a nice pretty cross like this one. They didn't give him a new cross that come out of the mill. Nice and smooth. No, they gave him a cross that's been used 20, 30, 40 times already. And the cross that he carried was full of splinters. The cross that he carried, 20, 30 men might have died on it. And they had the stench and the smell of dead men on that cross. They had the stench and the smell of the blood of dead men. They had the stench and the smell of the flesh of dead men. They had the stench and the smell of the men's hair on there. And they put it on the Lord and Savior's back. And as he carried that cross, as he carried that cross, as he went up the hill, and he's gone up the hill of skulls, the hill of death, the hill go, 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 When he seen those two men of death was crucified, and they were screaming and crying for their life. What was going through Christ's mind? Tell me, what was going through Christ's mind? What did he think about how terrible and how horrible his death was going to be? No! No! What are you thinking? How long would it take for me to die on that cross? No! No! He was thinking about you! He was thinking about me! He could have called me to the manual to take him off and kill everybody. But my Lord and Savior was on a mission. That mission was to save your soul from the gates of hell. Repent! Cry out to God! Cry out to God! And as 
they nailed my Lord to the cross. As he hung on the cross, they didn't hang him high like you see in these pictures. They hang him low enough where people can spit on him and hit him and punch him. They didn't crucify him with garments around his genitals. They crucified my Lord naked. They thought they was embarrassing him. They did to shame him, not knowing that he was crucified naked so we could be clothed in his righteousness. Cry out to God. And as he hung on a cross, people spit and mocked and laughed at the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. And you know, if everybody right there and there would have died of a heart attack, or a big rock would have fell out of the sky, they all would have went to heaven. Why? Because Jesus said, forgive them, Father. But they know not what they do. But as soon as they walked out and walked away from the cross, and they left that salvation there, they didn't take the salvation of Christ with them. They died and went to hell. And as Christ hung on the cross, as he bled from his head, as he bled from his nose from the beatings, as he bled from his mouth, as he bled from his knees and from his side, as he bled from his hands and his feet, that river of blood flow, flow like a river. And that river of blood is just as fresh today as it was 2,000 years ago. That river of blood is just as fresh right now. Accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Don't die and go to hell. Come to Christ, repent. Repent. I am just a voice crying out the streets. Repent. I get nothing out of this. I get nothing out of this. I'm almost two on my round trip. I'm going to be 69 years old. I could be home, sitting home, drinking iced tea. But God has called me. He called me. I've been preaching the gospel on the streets 35, 36, 37 years. And I'm not going to quit now until God calls me home. Cry to God. Come to Jesus. Do it now before you die. You don't know. Don't know when you're going to die. You may have a heart attack, a hand, you may have a blood clot, a stroke. You come down to New Orleans, you can get killed in this fancy city. I was born and raised in this city. I ran these streets six, almost 69 years. You can die and get killed in New Orleans. You can eat your fancy meal and come down here and get killed down the street. Are you ready to meet your maker? Cry out to God. Repent. Repent. We're living in the last days. It's going to get worse. You ain't seen nothing yet. Today you wear the mask. Tomorrow you take the test. And then after that you take the vaccine. And then that becomes the mark of the beast. And you'll be glad to accept the mark of the beast. And you accept that mark. And you can buy and sell. You can eat. You can go to the store. Yeah, give the Satan symbol. You're nothing but a fool, mister. Come to Christ. Come talk to me about Jesus. Don't send me a Satan symbol. Only cowards do that, man. Stand up for your God. Your God is Satan. I stand up for my God. I've been put in jail for my God. I've been beat up for my God. I had bottles thrown at me for my God. I've been spit on for my God. And I'm proud to say so because my God is worth it. I serve the true and living God. You cannot get the church. You cannot get the church. Get all loaded. Have adultery. And come on and think you're okay cause just because you want the church. Church ain't nothing but a building. The real church is those who follow Christ. That is the church. The church is not a building. The church is just a place where people congregate. Come to Christ. Come to Jesus. Here's your last and final call, maybe. The time to repent of your sins. Cry out on the God that sent your son, Jesus. Oh, guess what? Satan has a son, too. In the book of Daniel, it says that he'll have no regard for women. So the son of perdition, the son of Lucifer, is a homosexual. Why do you think that movement is so big today? Why do you think it's so big today? 
because it's owned and operated by Lucifer. But one day, after Christ takes his people off earth, he's coming back on a big white stallion with his, with his robe, white, white robe, dripped in blood. That blood is the blood that he shed. But he's coming back in a white stallion and he's gonna wear a crown. But that crown is not gonna be a crown of thorns. That crown is gonna be a crown of victory. That crown is gonna be a crown of righteousness. That crown is gonna be a crown of holiness. Go tell your daddy a gift, son. And there will be a battle between Christ and his angels and his saints against Lucifer's son, the son of perdition, the Antichrist. We know who's going to win. My Lord and Savior's going to win. My Lord and Savior's going to win. Don't let Lucifer fool you. Don't let the devil trick you. He is nothing but the king of deception. He is nothing but a liar, the Bible says. There's no truth in him. There's no truth in him. Blah, blah, no blah, him. Blah, blah, and we have mockers here. Blah, blah, and the Bible said in the last days that there will be mockers of God. Mockers of God in the last days, and we have a mocker right here. He cannot have a decent conversation. All he wants to do is sing Satan's too. Blah, blah, blah. But you know what? Today is being recorded that this man is mocking. Christ. This man is mocking the servant of the living God. I pray for you, son. I pray you come to Jesus. And I pray you come to Jesus before you die. You need Jesus, mister. Satan's walking right around you, sir. I see the devil walking right around you. That man's lost like many of y'all. I didn't come here to condemn nobody, but to warn you that hell is a real place. Heaven's a real place. Where will you go? The choice is yours. My name is James Miller. And as they say, I'll approve this message. Come on, let's pray. Okay. Father, we just ask you in the name of Jesus that you help this man. He got evicted from his apartment. The man's on alcohol and drugs. He wants to be set free. And the Bible said that he who sets free, who the Son sets free, is free indeed. And you could be free in the name of Jesus. You could be free from anything that God, that, 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 that God would deliver you from, who deliver you from anything that Satan has his hands on you. I know, Satan had his hands on me with alcohol, drugs, and all kinds of stuff. And the God who set me free, he'll set you free. Because he loves you just as much as he loves me. But you gotta be one set free. Now, let me ask you this. You wanna renew your, your, your faith in Christ and accept Christ? Let's go. Repeat after me, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I come to you. I come to you. As a sinner. As a sinner. As a lost soul. As a lost soul. And I need you. And I need you. I believe you, Jesus. I believe you, Jesus. Died on the cross for me. I died on the cross for me. Rose from the dead. Rose from the dead. So I could live with you. So I could live with you. So I could oh, so I could live with you. In eternity. In eternity. The Bible says. The Bible says. If I confess my sins to you. If I confess my sins to you. That you set me free and forgive me. That you set me free and forgive me. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, brother.